So about a week ago, Apple released a Logic 10.7.5. And while that name might lead you to believe it was a minor update of maintenance and bug fixes, nothing could be further from the truth. And over the next few weeks, we're going to go through a lot of the new features. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that you can put a track stack inside of another track stack and some of the new sounds that are now available. But before that, I'd just like to welcome you back to Logic.Band. I am the Oreo Monster, and this is a place full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind Logic voiceover macOS and GarageBand user. If you haven't yet, visit Logic.Band, and when you land on the homepage, Sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. All right, so the first thing we should talk about is that there are now some new sounds available. So if you haven't yet installed them, once you update, if you go to the Logic menu, so I'm going to press VOM to go to the menu. Menu bar, Apple. Right arrow over to Logic. Logic Pro. Down arrow to Sound Libraries. Logic Pro, about Logic Pro, settings, submenu, control surfaces, key commands, submenu, sound library, submenu. And right arrow to open that sub menu. Sound library, sub menu, five items, download essential sounds, dim. Download all available sounds, dim. And right there where it says download all available sounds, it seems dimmed for me. But if you've not yet downloaded the new sounds that come with Logic Pro 10.7.5, then you can video space on that and it will start the download process. Now, I believe there are two new sound packs that come in Logic Pro 10.7.5. So that means you can find new electronic drum kits in the library and some new loops for the same sound pack in the loop browser. So I'm going to clear this. Closing menu. Track one. Let's look at the library for a second library. here. And if I go over to the library. Library group. And interact with the library. In library group. Ten items. Library. All sounds. Pop-up button. Right here where it says all sounds, that pop-up button, if you video space on it. Menu. 20 sound packs. Dim. Alpha waves. Under sound packs. Backlight sounds. Beat tape. Chromium fray. There's now beat tape. Edges and angles. Flex and flow. Goes to Latina. Keyboard collection. Modular rhythms and modular rhythms. I believe those are the two new ones. There might be a couple more. If you know that there are more, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Same deal, I'm gonna- Closing menu, all sounds. I'm gonna open a loop browser. Apple loops, group. And interact with the loop browser. In Apple loop, column view, radio button, two sound packs. Right here where it says sound packs. Show all, pop-up button. Show all, that pop-up button, view space. Menu, alpha wave, backlight bounce, beat tape. And beat tape. Blue straw, voice noise, chill off. Chinese traditional, chromium fray, deep house, disco funk, drummer, dubstep, edges and angles, electro house, goes to air latina, hip hop, indie disco, keyboard collection, Mark Latieri, modern R&B. Modular Rhythms. Modular Rhythms is listed there as well. So you can sort the library or the loop browser to only show you loops or patches using the new sound pack or any of the included sound packs in Logic Pro. Closing menu. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is you can now put track stacks inside of track stacks. This is a feature I've been looking forward to for a long time, so let's look at how this works. Right here, I have two tracks in this project. Track one, heavy plus, group. And track two. Track 18, SRC six, group. But you see that says track 18. So I'm gonna go back up to track one. Track one, heavy plus, group. And that usually means that this is a track stack if it goes from track one to track 18. So if I press option accent, that is the keyboard ninja key command to toggle the track stack open or close. I just went ahead and opened it up. And if I down arrow. Track two overheads, group. So you got overhead, track three kick in, group, kick in, track four kick, kick out, group, out, et cetera. So I'm going to go back to this kick in track, track three kick in, group, and I'm just going to use shift down arrow to select the kick out track. And if I press command shift G, track three, sum 19, I get a new summon stack, sum 19, content selected, edit text. I'm going to rename this kick, selection read I, C, S. And now track three is, track two over, track three kicks, group, track three is kick, track four kick in, group, track four is kick, track five in. kick out, group, track five is kick out. So now if I do, Option accent to collapse the track. Track, track three kicks. You see that just takes me back to kicks and I have Track six near top group. Track three kicks group. Track two overheads group. Overheads. Track three kicks group. Kicks. Track six near top group. And then snare top. Track seven snare bottom group. Snare bottom. So I'm gonna select a snare. Track six snare top group. So this time instead of just doing shift down arrow, I'm gonna do VO command return. Track six snare top group. Edit to selection one item selected. So I selected a snare top, VO down arrow. Track seven snare bottom group. VO command get return. Track seven snare bottom selected group. Edit to selection two item selected. Selected the snare bottom, command shift. Track G. six, some twenty. Another summon stack. Some twenty. Content selected. Edit text. Let's name this one. Selection pen. A R P S. One bar one beat one tick. And now. Track six snares group. We have track six is our snares. Track seven snare top group. Seven is our snare top. Track eight snare bottom group. So I can collapse that again. So now you see. Track nine high hat group. Track six snares group. Snares. Track three kicks group. And kicks are in their own summon stack inside of the summon stack for the drums. So let's do the same thing for the toms. I'm gonna. Track six snares. Track nine high hat group. Track ten tom high group. Go down to tom. So let's select tom high. Track ten tom high group. Track eleven tom mid group. Track eleven tom mid selected group. Edit to selection two item selected. 
and command ship. Drop somebody one. Somebody one. Content selected. Edit text. Got to name these. Selection with A, C, K, Rap, T, O, M, S. All right. And so now. Drop 12 comment group. Let's collapse. Drop 10 rap toms. So we got rack toms. Drop 15 ruby group. Drop 14 ruby. Drop 15 tom low group. Tom low. Drop 10 rack toms group. And rack toms. Now, what I wish I could do is put the rack toms and the tom low, which is usually the floor tom, into another track stack called toms. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So if I select the rack tom track stack, which I'm on. Track 10 rack toms group. Edit to selection one item selected. Track 15 tom low group. The tom low track. Track 15 tom low selected group. Edit to selection two item selected. When I press Command Shift G, it doesn't do anything. Normally, when I'm not recording, it will say you can't because it exceeds the level of nested track stack. So there is some limitation to how we can put track stacks inside a track stack. Now, another thing to be aware of, if I collapse this, track one heavy plus, and you see we're back to track one heavy plus. If I open this track stack again with all the drums, you'll now see that track two overheads group, track three kicks group, track four kick in group. Track five kick out group. The kicks track stack is open. Track six snares group. The snares track, track seven, stack snare is top, group. open. So whenever you collapse a track stack and then reopen the entire parent track stack, it will open all the track stacks inside of it. So that's another thing to be aware of. But hey, we can now fit track stacks inside of track stacks. Hopefully this functionality will extend to include some of the things I pointed out here in the future. But for now, we can at least organize our track stacks and things like drums or guitar tracks and stuff like that a little bit better inside of track stack. All right, so that's it for this one. Coming up, we're going to talk about the new features like search patch and how it may be a quick way to get into the library from wherever you are in Logic, how you can now record the output of MIDI effects and tempo free recording among other things that we'll touch on as we continue to look at some of the new features in Logic Pro 10.7.5. If there's something you'd love to see me cover, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you got a new feature so far, also feel free to let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful and useful. Also, the mailing list if you want to get the free getting started with Logic course and find out when I update the Logic Keyboard Ninja Key Command like I just did for Logic 10.7.5, link in the description below. If you'd love to, your support is appreciated, visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for a supplemental blog post with some additional information. Social media links also in the description. And as always, until next time, happy recording.